happy Memorial Day to everybody. I hope you had a, a nice Memorial Day weekend. It is Memorial Day morning here. I'm here with uh Go on, guys. Pittsburgh Views. If you guys watched the previous video, you put some uh, new emblems on the truck here, but now it's time for uh, some more uh, LED work that I can't really do myself, so that's why I'm here with Brian. <laughs> I'll take care of it for you, Mike. Don't worry. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thanks. <laughs> Pull it into his tight little stable he has in there. Oh yeah, it looks good without a badge on the tailgate. What do you think of the uh, tail lights, Brian? Yeah, I mean I like the lighting of it. Yeah, definitely going for the theme of the blackout truck. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so. So you guys may, might be able to tell here, we are underneath the fender liner. And that is because a company by the name of 4x4truckleds.com has sent me a LED headlight kit. I had a lot of people ask me about that when we uh, install these ANSO headlight units here. Um, because there is a halogen bulb for the actual headlight. It's not LED. So what they sent me was a Crystal Lux automotive LED lighting kit so uh, that's what we're gonna be putting on here today I'm pretty excited about this actually here we have it look at that and of course yours truly will not attempt something like this I mean I can but I'd probably break something that's why <laughs> well, I'm gonna break stuff. <laughs> so we have the bulbs and we have the ballasts very small so they should be easily Easy to hide in, in the truck somewhere, so right. a lot of them are much bigger than this. So this looks like a pretty cool kit. Yeah, I'm excited, man. This is gonna be awesome. All right, so we got the halogen bulb out, and now it's time to uh, get the LED bulb in there. These are cooling fins because the LEDs get a little, little right, hotter. Right, right, right. Like I said, I've never seen one of these before, so that that's kind of new for me. Yeah. So see how they, they kind of fit in there yeah, the same way yeah. with this. Yeah, the notch. bulb part isn't that much of a difference. I mean, this yeah. is bigger, but yeah, that's interesting. As soon as we have the first one completely connected, we're obviously gonna turn the lights on and do a comparison between the halogen and the LED. All right, so we got the first uh, LED bulb installed and now he's uh, connecting the ballast. And it goes without saying that we, you know, if <laughs> we would have had these bulbs when we installed the actual headlight unit, this would have been a lot easier, but to replace a bulb on an F-150 that already has the headlight unit on there, like this one here, this is how you do it. All right, so LED, halogen. Not enough room here, but whatever. Okay, LED. I, I can tell just oh yeah, me too. How much whiter they are. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you can tell a difference on camera, but it's a huge difference here. It's so much wider. Try, try and put the reflection on the wall. You can kind of see like more yellow. So there is a cover on the back of the uh, actual bulb unit here that can't really be used with the new LEDs because of the uh, feathers sticking out. But it looks uh, it looks very clean back here. So I guess the fender liner does its job. When you guys are installing any bulb. You never want to touch the filament of the bulb with your fingers or gloves or anything. If you get the slightest amount of grease or even oil from your finger, it's going to prematurely burn your headlight bulbs out. Now this is any headlight bulb or turn signal bulb, any bulb in general. Never touch the, the filament. Okay. All right, so fast forward here about half an hour. We've been chatting away and, and, and Brian's been working. <laughs> Everything is on now. So uh, I think we're, what we're we going to do, turn the lights off in the shop. Yeah, yeah, so we can uh, really take a look at the lights. I, I haven't really seen the truck in, in dark settings like this with the new tail lights. That looks really good. And then we'll go up front here. All 
right, so the company, I mentioned it earlier, but the company that sent me these lights are 4x4 truckleds.com. So if you're looking for lights like this for your own vehicle, not just, you know, Ford trucks, all kinds of brands, definitely hit them up. I'll have uh, their links and all their contact information, social media and everything in the description below. So huge thanks to 4x4 truckleds.com for sending me these awesome LED headlights. All right, so we got some more LEDs on the truck here. Uh, from the LED videos that we've already done, we've gotten a lot of comments about uh, replacing the third brake light LEDs, so that'll be happening too. And then also the uh, license plate lights. So uh, yeah, gotta go do that, or order that. I haven't done that yet. Uh, but yeah, the truck is coming along, very exciting. Uh, of course, I don't know if I said this in a video yet actually, but I, I, did, I did let everyone know on Instagram that I have a new front bumper ordered. Of course, uh, it does not have any chrome on it. And regarding the, the rear bumper, um, not 100% sure what I'm gonna do, that, do there yet. Um, I, I haven't seen any aftermarket rear bumpers that I really think look good. So maybe like wrapping or powder coating the uh, rear bumper that's already on there uh, will be something that we do. And for those of you who watched my videos on a regular basis, you already know that we have wheels and a lift kit ordered. Uh, that's probably going to be like one of the, the final things that we do that's really going to transform the truck. So, But waiting on the wheels, they're on back order, so second week of June-ish sometime we'll have that but huge thanks to brian coming through in the clutch once again pipsburg views everybody needs to go subscribe to this man he is working hard on his channel uh he needs all the support that he can get uh we've already gotten a lot of good support for brian I'm trying to get him to 5,000. so everybody go subscribe right now we got to get brian to 5,000 subscribers we're gonna have that 5,000 subscriber giveaway so stay tuned for that Thanks again. For those who didn't know, and you're into motorcycles as well, maybe he'll start doing some moto vlogging here. Uh, I haven't done any motorcycle stuff on my channel uh, because I don't really know much about motorcycles. So what is it, a Triumph? It's a 2014 <laughs> Triumph Street Triple R. Oh, okay, cool. Nice. Oh, we got the little GoPro set up there. And a phone holder, wow, that's cool. Yeah, the phone holder is another awesome invention because you don't have to have your phone taking up your pocket space. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's nice. Man. All right, so now that we're home, I actually forgot yesterday when I was debadging this tailgate here that we still have the flex fuel badge right there. And uh, there's no need to have that, so uh, we'll just remove that real quick. And in 90 degree weather, you don't even need a heat gun or a hair dryer to get that off. But now it's time to clean the whole truck. So I just learned that painting a chrome bumper and even powder coating a chrome bumper is not the best idea. I've never had to really think about things like this, but basically the paint does not want to adhere to chrome. I mean, I'm sure you can, but you would have to sand everything down when it becomes too much of a hassle. So I went to my guy who uh, actually does the powder coating and did the wheels for the Raptor. He didn't want to do it. I went to a body shop regarding uh, painting the bumper. They said, no, you're better off just, you know, buying a new bumper if you want, you know, a black one, for instance. So with chrome bumpers, you either have to uh, plastic dip them or vinyl wrap them. So what I'm gonna end up doing is uh, going to see my buddy Shane at Inchain Designs and have him wrap the rear bumper black. As we all know already, I have a front bumper coming. Don't know exactly when, but the uh, Batman uh, soon-to-be truck is uh, starting to look better and better. 
now that everything is coming along i get even more antsy about the wheels because uh yeah this truck deserves better wheels than the stock ones that are on there right now but we all know that that's coming i went to the p.o box and uh picked up some mail so i figured we'd end this video with some mail time got a little box right here Let's see what this is oh you gotta be kidding me this is awesome. I was thinking about this today. This is exactly what I want. I wanted a black oval and then still have the Ford in uh, chrome because I want some contrast on the truck and this is absolutely perfect. I was talking to Shane about wrapping mine, the current one that I have on there, but now I don't have to. This is awesome. Thank you so much. Who sent this to me? There's no note whatsoever this is all that was in here so whoever sent this to me thank you so so much it's somewhere from new york it doesn't say a name or anything at service and then an address again thank you so much this is i wanted this very very nice and that's sweet all right so we also got a letter here from henry k age seven from chicago illinois Hi Mike, I've been watching your videos for about a year now. The first video I saw was what happens if you hit the start or stop button in the previous Ford Fusion. I did not know you had a Mercedes C63 at that time. I didn't at that time of making that video, that was after. I have a BMW X5 in lunar blue. I like the F150 with the new Borlax sauce, your friend, Henry. P.S. When are the new wheels for the F150 coming? Well. Uh, second week of May, I'm told that they are back in stock. So it says on the envelope here that you are seven. So I'm assuming that you're not driving the BMW X5 in lunar blue yourself. <laughs> but thank you so much, Henry. I really appreciate your letter. So thank you everyone who sent me something in the mail. If you for some reason feel like you want to send something to my PO box, the address is always in the description below. And now finally, before we end the video, I was once again called out to the uh, YouTube call out in uh, June. I think it was on the 23rd in North Carolina by uh, Dirty Max Jack. Uh, Street Speed 717 and Guitar Mageddon CL1. Now I'm coming. 99% uh, sure. The thing is, I have another uh, thing I'm doing at Poconos on the 20th, and we're staying there for about two days. But I don't think that's going to be an issue. It's just going to be a lot of driving for a few days, but that's sort of what I do for a living, so who am I to complain? So thanks again to the Harrisburg crew for inviting me once again. I'll do my best to not go in reverse this time. But with that, we're done with this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. If you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to, please subscribe. Remember to follow me on Instagram as well for updates of what's going on on the channel before it's actually uploaded. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.